guys and welcome back to another episode of Tactical Talks. So in this video, I want to talk about something that was just released a couple of days ago. Um, and that's going to be the Glock 44. Um, for those of you who don't know, the Glock 44 is going to be Glock's newest pistol. Uh, the number 44, the only thing that the significance that that has is it goes based off of their patent number. So since the Glock 43, they have not come out with anything new other than upgrades to older guns. Um, but the 44 is a rimfire 22 long rifle um, caliber pistol. I mean, it's. I saw some videos on this thing, and if I remember, if I can, I will post some pictures um, down in here so you guys can check it out. But I don't know how I feel about this. Um, I'm a huge fan of 22, and I just became a huge fan of uh, 22 recently. And I have a couple 22s, I've had a couple of 22s. I just never really did a lot with them. They were really cheap to shoot. So when I had rifles and pistols and all these things that were 22s, I just went out and had fun with them, played with them, didn't really take them serious as weapons. Um, never hunted with them, never carried them for self-defense. They were literally just for going to the range and just killing some time. But with the purchase of my MMP 1522, I started taking 22 serious, and I don't mean that I'm going to carry this over a 5.56 or a 300 Blackout or any other caliber. What I mean by taking it serious is I bought this for my daughter. As my daughter gets older, I want to start taking her to the gun range, and I want to have her start shooting, and I want her to shoot this. The The recoil is very, very minimal. Um, it's not loud. It's not nothing crazy that's going to scare her off or freak her out as far as guns are concerned. But she's going to learn all the functions of an actual AR. So when it comes time for her to move up, you know, I think maybe the next step we may go AR-9 and then go um, AR-15. But all the functions are going to be the same. So it's going to be easy for her to transition into these different uh, calibers all on the same platform. Now, I hope and pray that my daughter is a gun person and that she likes shooting all different things. But at a minimum, she will have learned on this. So when and if it ever comes down to it, if she needs to use a weapon, she'll know how to use it. It'll, all the platforms will be the same, all the functions are the same, the breakdown's the same. I mean, I started taking them more serious because of that. Now, just because this is going to be for my daughter doesn't mean that I'm not going to go out and shoot it. So when I do go out and shoot it, I take this thing a little more serious in the way that I handle this thing. Um, for those of you kind of gun freaks, safety freaks, this is clear. There's no magazine, as you guys can tell. But <coughs> I started shooting this more, and I started, you know, paying attention to my hand placement, paying attention to my trigger pull, paying attention, you know, paying attention to everything that I do when I fire an AR because I do carry an AR with me at work. So when I go out and I shoot this thing, as I'm maneuvering and as I'm, you know, doing all my drills, I pay very close attention to the things that I don't necessarily pay attention to when I'm shooting a 5.56 AR because there's just so much more going on. The recoil kicks a little bit harder, it's louder. There's just so much other things going on that kind of drown out the basics that we've been taught or the basics that you should be practicing as far as gun fundamentals. So it's easier for me to focus on those things with a 22. And then whenever I go over to my 5.56, I've done it so much on this, it comes a little more natural with that. Now, I know I'm getting off a topic. The whole premise of this video is talking about the Glock. So now my thinking is I have a bunch of Glocks. I'm a huge Glock fan. Um, I just, I love Glock. They're very reliable. I've never had any major issues with a Glock. Like everything else, every once in a while you are going to have a malfunction, but very easy to clear, very easy to fix, very easy to work on. There's so many parts out there. I mean, Glocks and ARs are similar in that sense that you can get parts anywhere. You can work on them. I mean, it's just so simple and so basic. So now my thinking is, do I buy this Glock 44, which is going to be the same exact size as a Glock 19, and uh, pretty much do the same thing with that that I'm doing with this? Practice all my fundamentals. Um, teach my daughter how to shoot on that thing because it's, it's going to be the same size, the the function's going to be the same. I mean, the the gun's going to be the same, but it'll be easier for her to shoot that. So when she does decide to go up to, you know, 
let's say, a Glock 19, which, which I would expect or at least hope for her to, to carry. Because that's what I'm going to carry. It's going to be that much easier. When I go out and I practice, when I'm training for work, is it going to be easier for me to learn and practice on this Glock 44 so that when I do go out and shoot, all the fundamentals that I'm building over and over and over again, you know, that muscle memory, because I can focus it, focus on it with the Glock 44, is it going to make shooting my duty pistol that much easier? So I got a lot to think about. Um, and I know some of you guys may, may not have even seen this thing, may not have even known this was a thing. Um, I'm always researching and looking up different things. And I didn't even know, like I knew that it was coming. I knew that Glock was looking into this. Uh, there was a bunch of speculation and stuff on different forums and different things that I've been looking at online. But actually my buddy Frank, shout out to Frank, he's the one that actually sent me a video the day that they announced that, hey, this is legit, we are releasing this thing. Um, he sent me a video and I checked it out and they started discussing the functionality and the look of it and it being ambidextrous and like all the specifics that I don't necessarily have right now. I saw everything in this video and I was just like, dang, like this, this happened, it's real, you know? So I think my wife's gonna be mad because I think I'm gonna buy another gun. Let me know what you guys think about this. I mean, should I buy the Glock 44? Do you guys think that it's a good training tool? Um, do you think it could even be a good self-defense weapon? I don't know. I've never been a huge fan of Karen 22. Uh, there's a lot of people out there that, you know, they say that the, the 22 round doesn't pack enough punch for you to carry it as a self-defense weapon. It's, it's pointless. But I don't know. What are your guys' thoughts on this? I'm, I'm torn right now. I think that there is a... A purpose for this gun um, I think it, at a minimum it'll be fun but can I go beyond fun can I teach my daughter with this thing and is this something that I can improve or fine-tune my skills with again thank you guys for checking this video out comment down below let me know what you guys think let me know what y'all want to see and then just put a yes or no whether or not you think I need to buy another gun thanks for watching see you on the next one